everyone, we're here to continue the amazing, amazing game called Broken Age. Last time, we were with her and before we're gonna change to a boy, we need to do something. Yeah. We need to climb back up. I heard a tip that we need to get a fruit from one tree, which I forgot to get. Did their master just... Anyone down there? Who's talking? Over there? You need to tie some ladders together, did you hear me? Oh my god, he's stuck up there. We didn't do anything. Let's just go. Do I have the ladders? Please? No. What? Where are my shoes? Did I need to equip them? Wait a sec, girl. Put your cloud shoes on. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me some fruit. Dang. I think it fell down and we need to get down. Did it go in here? Yes! Hmm. Firm. And pungent. Okay, that was everything we needed to get from here. I think. And we're gonna... I'm gonna take her to the freaking lumberjack's house. And after that, we're gonna change to the boy because none of you really were like, I need to see her story first. There were a couple of curious ones who wanted to see the boy's story a little bit. So I'm gonna go there. And now we're gonna exchange to... What was his name, though? Uh, this? Ooh. Hey, rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Space. Mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. Stairs, my little angel. Oh, computer. Hmm. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad Space. tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. That is really mean sound. Spacewalk. Spacewalk. <laughs> oh my god, can I just wake up? What a good boy. Thanks. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Okay. Choco rockets? Uh. Yeah. Sure. sure. What difference does it make? Sorry, Commander. I got my spoon. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition no. facts and eating <laughs> encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? 
Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Ah, uh, this boy is really okay, excited computer. about life. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Um... Well... You know... I want to walk a bit. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh. It's pretty. Outside the ship, the foreign body must be very close by. Is it this? I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! Special nutrition paste for you today, mac and cheese. I am so confused. <sighs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? Woo! We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Uh, friendship circle. We have whatever. to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. <laughs> I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. <laughs> I found one of the crew. Fake controls. What a surprise. Hello? What happened here? There was an attack! From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Oh. Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was a... Yes? A attack! <laughs> That's adorable. You're going to love this dinner pill. Fried chicken, kind of. I don't know about the food, though. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Well, runaway train. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Oh, 
Back to sleep, Bridge Man. Wake up, Bridge Man! We're safe! That was the bridge! What an amazing idea! Brilliant and resourceful! Back to sleep! What are you doing? Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? That was creepy. No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. Aww. I love you. <sighs> I can do whatever? He's excited. What's this? Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Wow, that's a creepy thought. What's that? It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I took away its food source. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. I think he's pretty happy now. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Um. Gonna go there? It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <sighs> Can I walk again? Is there any else place I could go to? Not to the door, but somewhere else. In here? Is there anything in here? No. In he here? No. What's this? Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. What is this? What's this? It looks like a weird little screwdriver. Well, check it out. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. <gasps> oh! This! It works! Hmm. What's, What's this? this? <laughs> it looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. I can't make enough pressure to blow it up myself. Um, uh, combine these two. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa, it looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. Oh, I see. That's how we escape. Um, just put this on the bed.
Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Can I go now? Uh, can I do something Gary like is this? programmed not to grab his master. It's one of the primary rules of robotics. Can I do s something? Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Negative. This door is locked. Well, uh... Yeah. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. I don't know what to do. Hey, how am I on the bed and over here at the same... Oh, yeah. That's just a bl Health stats, 100%. Why do computers need sleep? I don't know. I don't know how to get he out of here. It's a humidifier, but I think it's some... Oh! I'm so stupid. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. I'm sorry. Man, computers are stupid. This place Whoa. is huge. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk. In a way, she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. You said I'm a cup. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cub. Young cub! That's so cute! Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. <laughs> I apologize. It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protective. It's okay. Where the hell am I? Ah, the young master has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Okay, there's plenty places to go. Who are you? Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart. 
and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. What's down there? If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Uh... What is in here? Negative. This door is locked. Maybe I should give him the star chart? Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? It would be elementary. Decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody make it in one piece. Great. Okay, what the hell is that planet moving there? Hey dude, I did it. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. This is worse than I thought. What up? The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. What? Go on, lower the shield. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the sub. Yay! I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. Zoom out a bit. Go oh! There! Careful. Wait for it. Don't wait no. for it. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. What do we need to do now? Poor little thing. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that okay. star chart to the space weaver right now. Dude, new orders. Here. Hey, space weaver. Can you take me here? Not a problem. Thanks. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Engage. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and we're 
Okay, thanks. I don't know why we got here, but um, probably because okay. we were in we danger. We should be in danger system five. Are we ever? Take a look at this. It was. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instinct. What? Rats. Keep trying. Yay! Excellent. Securing subject and cargo hold. A bit to the Go right. On. Move the ship. Careful. Wait. Go. Wait. Great work. Up, 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 up. We don't have much time. Don't wait forever, though. Go. Yes. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. No, 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 no. Go on. Move the ship. Oh, no. Dang. That's okay. Try again. Yes. Up, 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 up. Okay, that's enough. What? What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. It's up there. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. It just took three seconds, okay? okay I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention! Ship is under attack! What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Back to Merrick to hear his plan. Yeah, we probably should. But we're gonna end this episode in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed to see a little of this boy's story. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!